Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix battlefield red sick, crashing, crashes at a startup, crashing to desktop or splash screen crash error on PC. Then here follow the fixes. The first fix is to change the exploit settings only for BF6 and eAntiCheat.GameServiceLauncher exe file. So in Windows search, search for exploit protection and open it. Then go to the program settings and then click on this plus icon add program to customize and then select choose exit file path. Now go to the game installation folder, open C drive, open program files x86, open steam, open steam apps folder, open common folder, open battlefield 6 folder. Now select bf6 exe file and click on open. Now you will get this type of pop up when you add it. Now select override system setting under each category and make sure it is turned off if it is turned on then turn it off so you have to check mark every again here it is turned on please turn it off so check mark every category check mark override system settings in every category and make sure everything is turned off It is again turned on, so turn it off. Now let me check it once again. You have to tick mark override system setting under each and every category and make sure everything is turned off. Yes, everything is turned off. Now hit on apply. Click yes to allow. Now again click on this plus icon, add program to customize. Then select choose exact file path and then select EA and e cheat dot game service launcher exe file and then click on open and do the same thing for this exe file as well. Check mark override system setting under each category and make sure everything is turned off. Let me check it once again. Everything should be turned off and you have to tick mark override system setting under every category. Ok now click on apply. Click yes to save changes. Now go ahead and launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Later if you want to remove these settings then simply click on remove for both this BF6 and E anti cheat service game launcher exe and it will bring your game back to the default settings. Fix 2 is to turn off smooth motion in NVIDIA app. So open NVIDIA app, go to the graphic tab, select battlefield 6. Now look for smooth motion. Here is smooth motion. Make sure it is off and if it is turned on then please turn it off. Now go to the global settings. Again here look for the smooth motion and if it is turned on then make sure to turn it off and then go ahead and launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not. Now if you are AMD users then turn off anti lag. Launch the AMD Radeon software and select settings, select graphics and then select gaming. Turn off Radeon anti lag then try launching the game again and check. Fix 3 is to modify the game launch options. So open Steam. Go to library, right click on battlefield 6 game and select properties. Now in the launch options type minus DX11, close the tab and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then again go to properties, this time type minus DX12, launch the game and check. If it's still not working then again go to properties, remove the command from the launch options and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 4 is to close daemon tools, uninstall interception driver, auto hotkey, DS4 windows, virtual controller etc. Close these in task manager and disable them in device manager if applicable. And then you can launch the game and check. Fix 5 is to uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. Also uninstall third party anti-cheat software such as face it anti-cheat etc. Now here how to uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So open steam, go to library, right click on battlefield 6 game and select manage browse local files. Now it will take you to the game installation folder. 
here open ea anti cheat folder then double click anti cheat .installer exe file click yes to allow and then click on uninstall all this will uninstall ea anti cheat for all the ea games but you don't have to worry it we will reinstall the ea anti cheat so click on uninstall all and once you see uninstall success option then close this now go to this ea official website to reinstall ea anti cheat and once you are on this website scroll down and then click on download the ea javelin anti cheat installer once this ea anti cheat installer exe file get downloaded you have to launch it and you have to install the ea anti cheat so just wait for it now it has been downloaded so now click on ea anti cheat installer exe file click yes to allow now from here select battlefield 6 and then click on install now once you say install success then close this and then you can go ahead and launch the game and check if it's still not working then here you can follow this trick right click on battlefield 6 manage browse local files go to ea anti cheat folder double click on ea anti cheat installer click yes to allow click on uninstall all and when you see uninstall success close it and then open steam and launch the game from the steam and this will reinstall the ea anti cheat by default and see if this help or not Fix 6 is to update graphic card driver. So in Windows search type device manager and open it. Expand display adapters. Right click on your graphic card driver and then select update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. And after this close this and then you can launch the game and check. Now if that doesn't work then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. So if you have AMD graphic card driver go to the AMD website. If you have Nvidia graphic card driver then go to the Nvidia website. If you have Intel graphic card driver then go to the Intel website. Links are provided in the video description. So I am showing the example of Nvidia graphic card driver. So go to this Nvidia website and once you are on this website select your version of graphic card driver and then select windows operating system and then click on find scroll down now you have to download the geforce game ready driver so whatever is the latest version you have to download and install it so click on view and then click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option then click on next and then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc and then launch the game and check next solution is to switch the launcher now if you have game on the ea app then switch to steam download the battlefield red sec and then launch the game and check now if you have the game on steam then you can switch to ea app so launch ea app download the battlefield red sec game and then launch the game and check Fix 8 is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in compatibility mode. To do this open steam, go to library, right click on battlefield 6, select manage browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now right click on battlefield 6 exe file and select properties. Go to the compatibility tab and here check mark run this program as an administrator hit apply. Ok. Then launch the game from the game installation folder here and check if that fixes your issue or not. If not then again right click on battlefield 6 exe file select properties go to the compatibility tab. This time select run this program in compatibility mode for from here select windows 8 hit apply ok launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then again select windows 7 from here hit apply ok then launch the game and check. If it's still not working then here check mark disable full screen optimization option as well hit apply ok then launch the game and check. And if still your problem is not solved, then again go to the compatibility tab and tick all these three options. Hit apply, ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 9 is to create a new admin local user account. So go to the window settings. On the left click on accounts. Scroll down. Click on other users. Click on add account. Now click on I don't have this person sign in information. Click add a user without a Microsoft account. Now give any username. Now if you want to enter password then you can enter a password but please remember the password and if you don't want to enter password then leave it blank and then click on next and once this account has been created click on this arrow icon and click on change account type and from here select administrator hit ok and then restart your PC once and after restarting the PC launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. 
Fix 10 is to rename delete battlefield 6 settings folder in documents. Now please create a backup of this folder to desktop first because you will lose all the save game progress. So open file explorer and then on the left click on documents, open battlefield 6 folder. Now copy this settings folder and paste it to desktop first to keep the backup. And after keeping the backup, then right click on settings folder, then select rename. You can either rename it and then launch the game and check or you can simply right click on settings folder and then select delete to delete it and then you can launch the game and check. Fix 11 is to Windows security users allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall. So in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow and add through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Then click on add and allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder wherever you have the game and then select bf6exe file and then click on open to add it to the list. Now go back. Click on firewall and network protection. Click on allow an app through firewall. Click on change settings. Click on allow another app. Then click on browse. Now browse to the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game. So open C drive, program files x86, steam folders, steam apps folder, common folder, battlefield 6 folder. Now select bf6exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case battlefield 6 is already added. And then make sure both private and public is ticked mark and then click on ok to save changes. And then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Now if you are using any third party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well and then you can launch the game and check. Or you can simply turn off your antivirus program, launch the game, play the game and later you can turn on your antivirus program. Now fix 12 is to verify the game files. So open Steam, go to library, right click on battlefield 6, select properties, go to the install files, then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification of the file has been done, then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. 13th solution is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft official website. Link is given in video description. And once you are on this website, scroll down and download both the x86 and x64 version. Download both the version. Now first click on the x64 version. Now if you see repair option, then click on repair. And if you see install option, then click on install and install it. Then click on x86 version. Now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it and then restart your PC once and then you can launch the game and check if your issue is fixed or not. Fix 14 is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. So, so in Windows search type Steam and then select run as administrator and then launch the game and check. Now if you have the game on EA app then here in Windows search type EA and then Open the EA app as an administrator and then you can launch the game and check if that help or not. Fix 15 is to turn off overlay. So open Steam, go to library, right click on battlefield 6, select properties. Now turn off, enable the Steam overlay while in the game. So turn it off and then you can launch the game and check. If you have the game on EA app, then open EA app, click on this three horizontal line, then click on settings, go to the application tab, scroll down, turn off in-game overlay click on turn off and then you can launch the game and check. 16 solution is to update windows. So go to windows settings on the left click on windows update and then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then you can download and install them and then restart your PC once. After your PC restart then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. 17 solution is to unplug external devices such as hotels, pedals, racing wheel, razor, Tartarus, disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to your PC, disconnect additional joystick controller connected, disconnect VPN, disable overlay, I have already shown the steps how to disable overlay, close all the overlay apps such as Discord, Nvidia app, close all the overclocking applications such as MSI, Afterburner, Riva Tuner, turn off Razer Synapse, Razer Lighting Effects and MSI Dragon Center, Cors Air Software and close all the third party services such as Nahimic services, uh, lighting service.exe etc in the task manager. Remove the underworld and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. And the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game. 
So if none of these solution work for you, then simply uninstall the game from your PC, then restart your PC once and then reinstall the game to C drive, SSD drive. If already installed in C drive, then try installing it to another SSD drive. So by this way, you can easily solve Battlefield, Red Sync game crashing, crashing at a startup, crashes to desktop or splash screen crash error on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.